Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to make a couple of welds using the Hobart Easy TIG 165i. So we're going to weld on some quarter inch carbon steel tube and we're going to make an edge weld or an overlay on the edge of it to extend its length. I checked the metal thickness with the cool gauge that comes with the machine. So I connected the air cooled TIG torch and connected the work lead using the work clamp to the table. I took the foot control and connected it to the front of the machine using the CAT5 cable connector. I also used the Smith regulator and hose and connected that to the rear of the machine and then finally using the electrical connector plugged it into the receptacle on the wall. I also put to use the strong hand tools magnetic TIG torch holder, which worked real well. So I switched the machine on to AC, and then I put the dial at the high end on the 063 section. I also tried it at the mid-range, and I also tried it at the lower range and found that that worked best for the material I had. So I went ahead and put a tack weld on the far end of the plate so that it wouldn't separate as I started to weld down the joint. I didn't want the plates to pull apart, so I put a tack down there. So this is 1 16 50 52 of material. There you see one of these problematic accidental arcs that I got. Uh, happened a number of times on this foot control. So you get the tungsten near the material and then just inadvertently slightly bump the foot control or just place your foot on it and sometimes that arc will pop off there when you're not immediately expecting it. So once it got started up the arc was nice and smooth and stable. It seemed to work real well with this aluminum. So on this thin aluminum some materials and some machines have a tough time working on these smaller pieces of thin aluminum. But this did pretty good using the 1 16th ER4043 filler metal that I was using. It had quite a wide cleaning action band along it and there's no adjustment on the machine to decrease that. So that was one of the pitfalls that I did see on the weld itself is quite a large band of cleaning action. So the next thing I set up was an edge joint held together with my vice grips this one I didn't use any filler metal at all. I just decided I was going to try to fuse the edge of it using the filler metal or using the material itself as the filler metal to weld the joint up. So I made small motions forward and then just slightly back forward and then just slightly back and worked my way down the joint trying to keep a nice smooth even ripple pattern on the surface of the material. So once again, just like on the previous weld, the machine performed very good and it did a good job of tapering off at the end. So the foot control was capable of easing off at the end of the weld real nicely and such. So thanks again for hanging out and looking at some of the aluminum welds that we made using the Easy TIG 165i from Hobart. 